Hey guys, Yeet Tendo here. Welcome to my first ever gaming video. And today, we're going to be playing Pokemon Quest. Now, let's get started. Okay, I have played this game a little bit before, but I'm just going to start fresh. So, it looks like our drone crashes... Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. Hmm. My Moby for the drone manufactured by Silphco I brought here to detect loot is acting strange. What's wrong, Moby? Boop, boop. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I guess I have no choice but to restart it. Beep, beep. <laughs> Reset complete. Please input the owner's name. The maximum char the maximum number of characters is twelve. Okay guys, so there we go. Good morning, Heat Tendo. Here's your new here's the news for today. I'm not interested in the news right now, Moby. I'd rather get to exploring this island. Would you have a look around for me first? Understood. Begin scouting at Tumblu. Tom Club Island. Stand by. I have no recorded data on this island. Guidance will be necessary. Okay, this is where you get to pick your starter. There's Pikachu, Eevee, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or Charmander. And I have decided on either a Pikachu or a Charmander. So... There appear to be some Pokemon nearby that live on the island. They should be familiar with the island's landscape. Why not befriend one of them so it can show you on the way? I see. Sounds like a plan. Let's try it out. I might pick... Well... I'm gonna go Charmander. Because, you know... He evolves into my boy Charizard, so... You befriended Charmander. It seems our preparations are complete, Itando. We'll head out and have a look around the island. Move towards enemies. Ah, Pokemon move towards enemies on their own and attack them. Wild Pokemon, everybody. Beat the hell out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If this, if this first video is popular, I'll make another one on Pokemon Quest. It's a fun game, so... Okay, this is the boss. It's a Rattata. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. We got Charmander to level 2. And we got all this stuff. Nice. Hmm, I think we can end our expedition for now. I need to find a place where I could set up base camp. Oh, looks like I found a quiet... Uh, looks like I found a quite a nice clearing. This will be my base. What about that bizarre stone I found earlier? Is there some way I could use it? When Nintendo took out the stone, the Pokemon's body started to glow. Try attaching the power stone you got on your expedition to your Pokemon. Oh boy, guys, look. It's Thanos. The power stone. Ooh. Yeah, boys. Okay. Once the tutorial's done, I'm going to probably turn down the music a bit because it's blasting in my ears right now. I'm going to become deaf doing this. When the Everstone button... 
with uh, with the Everstone button, you can give a Pokemon an Everstone that will stop it from evolving. This is literally like Marvel, guys. There's freaking stones to make gives ultimate powers to Pokemon. But okay, here. Looks like my Pope. Well. Oh my god. Looks like my Pokemon has gotten stronger. I guess it's time to start exploring. You can start an I island expedition from the dungeon icon. The goal of the game is to find precious loot that lies on the island as you, pro ah, as you progress on your expedition. A wild Pokemon, it's two Pidgeys. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill them, them Pidgeys. Two Pidgeys and a Rattata. Okay, we're gonna kill that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna scratch you, boy. Come here. There we go. One Pidgey. Yeet. Oh, uh, wait. There's more. Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. More out of this. Oh, my God. Die, bro. Skeet. Okay, there we go. Okay, our boss is a Meowth. Let's get it, boy. Spam... Eat. Oh, yeah. We're gonna beat this Meowth. Yeah, we did it. That was easy. Woo. Okay, we got Charmander to level 3. You found some ingredients it looks like you could cook with. If you cook something, it should attract some Pokemon. We're ready to start cooking now. Use the ingredients you found on the Tumble Cube Island to cook up some dishes for Pokemon. When you cook up some food, Pokemon that like the kind of food will come and visit your base camp. Tap an ingredient icon and put that ingredient in your cooking pot. Once you've filled the pot, you're ready to cook. Although they make you fill it for the first one. You know, I ain't doing that, but whatever. Oh my god, give me this. Okay, there. I think what it brings is like a Pidgey or a Rattata. I don't know. When your dish has finished cooking, it... Will depend on how many times you've gone out on expeditions on the island. If you use your PM tickets, which are special items, you can finish cooking your dish right away. Which I don't want to do. Just this time, here are some PM tickets you can use to finish cooking your dish right away. Your dish will be ready after two more expeditions. Would you like to use PM tickets to finish it up now? Yeah, sure. Mulgan stew a la cube. Okay, let's see what we get. Yeah, it's a rat and a pidgey. I knew it, boy. Nice. Oh, yeah. And we got pidgey. Nice. Nice. And I guess I'll just put Pidgey and Rattata on my team for now. There we go. The cooking pot is empty. Why not start cooking another dish before heading out on an expedition? Now you know. This is how... Give me this. Oh, auto set. Okay. Oh, lazy. Okay, there we go.
Oh, shoot. Whoops. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Uh, I just dropped my phone. Whoops. Uh, okay, here. There we go. Okay, the total of your team's members' HP and ATK is your team's strength. Each bout where you can head out on an expedition, the strength of enemies will be displayed. You should give an idea of what your team's strength should be. Pokemon with the same type uh, as a bonus type for the place. Okay, I don't need to read that. Okay, here we go. So, Pidgey got Gust. Terminator Scratch. Focus Energy. Okay, Fire Spin Gust. Okay, on to the next wave. Wild Pokemon! Like one Caterpie. Quick, beat the heck out of it. Yeet. Okay, the final wave. A Kakuna surrounded by Caterpies. Okay. Nice, we got him. Nice. Charmander's level 4, Rattata's level 3, and Pidgey's level 3. At this rate, you might run out of supplies. If you'd like, you can connect to the shop to get more. Pokemon. Okay. Okay. I'll take free tickets. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, we'll see what I got. Receive fossils, loads of fossils. What else? Nothing else. Okay. We're going to go to base. And this is where I'm going to turn the volume down. Oh, there's only on or off. You know what? I'm going to leave it on. It'll probably make me deaf, but whatever. So, here, let's give Charmander... Nothing. Okay, well, here. Okay. Okay, I'm still getting used to the game. Here. We'll give... Let's see, 103, 103, and then... So you definitely get the lower one. Pidgey, I'll get the... Okay, there we go. We're gonna head out on another expedition. 750, we're good. Expedition star... Wild Pokemon. Focus energy. A ghost. There we go. Okay, first wave cleared. On to the next.
more Pokemon. A nice uh, Growlithe. Come on, I want to beat him up. There we go. Okay, we're on to the third wave. Here we go. All the way over there. There we go. Oh boy, a Pidgeotto and three Pidgeys. Oh, Charmander's about to die. Charmander's about to die. Yeah. Poor Charmander. He was still dead. Okay. Now, okay, the farther you go on the island, the stronger the wild Pokemon get. You should collect more Power Stones and befriend more Pokemon to get stronger as you head out farther out. Well, I did some quests. We'll see what I did. Nice. Okay. Gonna head to base camp and open my special pot and see what we got. Ooh, rare Pokemon. Nice. Okay, let's open my pot if, you know, oh, we're gonna smoke it all now. Okay. We'll see what we got. Ooh. Two Growliths, right? Yeah, two Growliths. Nice. Oh, what? And a Paris is back there. No, come here, Paris. I can't reach you right there. there we go. Oh, Paris is level 7. Damn. Nice. Well, I'm definitely changing my team up, guys. So, make all of these guys. I want to get rid of Ratata or Pidgey. Probably Ratata. Okay. Okay. A oh, level 13. Damn. You know, we're just going to put that there. Sweet. And we'll give you this attack. Now flip to Charmander. There we go. We'll give Charmander the weightless stone. Power is 837. I think I still need to be 850. Here, let me put more stuff in the pot. There we go. I don't know what that makes, but we'll see. A oh, four, dang it. Well, it looks like we're going to be playing till that pot opens. So, yeah, that's nice. Also, we're going to check out the decorations. See if we could get more pots, maybe. No decorations. Woo. And it is 8.50, right? Yeah. What if I just go ahead and do it anyway? Or am I just going to like, you know, is, am I just going to get whooped?
Oh, we should have flamethrower, bro. Scratch gust. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Although it probably gets like way harder. Oh dang, they called for help. Oh god, we gotta be oh shit. Ugh. Okay, we got the second wave. Do 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 Oh, do duos. Kill the do duos. And more wild Pokemon appeared. Oh, come here, Meowth. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. Oh boy, that's a huge eradicate. Damn. Like, that's like three times the size as me. Holy shit. Oh, uh, it's just the boss. Okay, just the boss. Nice. We, like, barely got past that, but okay. Woo. Okay, Charmander and Pidgey level 5. Growlithe is still 13. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's a... Uh, that's a creepy statue, I must say. But, okay. When we defeated the boss, the statue that looks like a Pokemon was left behind. What in the world could it be? Found the symbols of the island. The prolific statue. The statue is carved in the shape of three ratata, a Pokemon that can flourish wherever it is. Perhaps the statue is meant to symbolize such prosperity. It seems you will sort everything to explore in this area. It'll locate, I'll locate the route to the next area. It may take some time to locate. So in the meantime, I've searched the database for information regarding the statue and found that this could appear to be something... Was served in a place called the Chamber of Legends. Nice. I really don't want to read all this, but you know what? Whatever. Oh boy, which way do I want to go? I'm gonna go two one. Wiki Wests. Okay, there we go. Got our gifts. Gonna head back to base camp. And probably edit my team. You know, Charmander, you probably got the lowest health here, so. There we go, now you don't. Know. We'll just give that to Pidgey. Okay. What the heck? How can one Pidgey carry two Growlithe? This, this right here? That makes no sense, but, you know, we'll just, let's see. Nice. Okay, well, since I have literally nothing else to help me, you know. Upgraded my Pokemon. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and probably do the next sex edition.
That's not what I thought, but okay. Decorations. Ooh. The Blastoise Fountain is pretty cool. I'm going to save up. Well, I'm going into the next expedition, even though it literally kills me. But, uh, whatever. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. Well, a Metapod really can't do anything. It's a Metapod. It literally only should know Harden. Unless it evolved from a Caterpie, then, you know. But, there we go. This is where I'm going to probably, you know, die. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, like, not die somehow. My scratch really kills these guys. Well, that was easier than expected. Sweet. Base camp, and we're gonna equip to all these guys. Wrong thing. Oh my gosh, I am so bad right now. This is triggering. There. Oh, what's a growl with? Okay. I mean, Pidgey beats Growl with an HP, damn. Okay, well. Okay. There we go. Okay, two more expeditions and expeditions, and then we get open our pot and see what we got. Woo! Yeah, I'm totally gonna die here. Although I did see that bonus type advantage, so maybe not. <laughs> more wild Pokemon, beat them up a little more, uh. Okay, socket wave is complete. A Paris. Okay, we'll we'll beat that up. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be a long wave. I can already sell. Nice. 
Okay, execute. Execute, I'm gonna execute you, bro. Yeah. Executor, okay. Yo, damn. Uh, get a little closer, Charmander. Nice. Charmander and Pidgey are level 7. Pidgey, your health is like the... Charmander, your health is high. Oh my god, all your healths are like really high. I'm just going to give this to Charmander. Uh, give you an 84. There we go. What's my team right now? One hundred, oh my god, 1,131. Oh boy, okay. Mm, I can still do it. Done. Wild Pokemon, let's beat them up. Oh boy, yeah, Pidgey's poison. Thanks a lot. Woo. We're surrounded. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Wave three. He's in a corner. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, now, now he's not. Oh, my God. So many oddishes. Yeah. Beat the shit. Oh my god, so many oddishes. Oh yeah. There we go. Final boss. Oh boy. Bell sprouts and weeping bells. Fire spin. Then we gotta hit him with the flamethrower. Gusts. And then scratch. Nice. That was pretty easy. Okay. Charmander and Pidgey level 8. Both unlock more fighting and health spots. Mighty stones and mighty stones. Nice. Let's see. There we go. 
No, I don't want to edit my team. That was so sad. Oh, my pot should be done, too. So, yeah, we'll see what I get there. Now, Pidgey, I will give you the higher attack one. I'll give Charmander the higher. There we go. On second thought, I'm going to take that back. Uh, I'm going to give Charmander 65. And give Growlithe 81. Okay, what's my uh, team strength? 1,336 and 66. Nice. Okay, but we're going to see what Pokemon I get, so. Favorite fruit of rock-type Pokemon. Okay, so we should be getting some rock-types. Maybe like a Geodude. Oh, or an Onix. You know, that just that was an Onix. Yo, sweet. A level 13 Onix. Damn. Although his attack's kind of low, because it looks like you literally can't level up his attack. Although you can make his health over the top. Okay, we're going to make our, you know, we're going to see. You're right, there are various recipes. I want to use these, but I can't. I'm going to put some honey down there. Honey acorn. Go. Oh boy, I only unlocked two recipes. No, well, not really, but. You know what? I'm just going to throw in a whole bunch of blue looking berries and maybe I'll get a water type dish. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, four again. Well, I'm probably not going to get that in this episode. We'll have to open it next episode. Do I want to change, like, Pidgey for onto Onyx? But... I mean, these two are... They're all having fun over there. More growless stats compared to everyone else. I guess his attack was kind of high. I guess I'll give him that. But his health wasn't as good. I'll, I'll trade. I'll trade Growlithe out. And I'll put Onyx in his place. Well, we'll see if I like that decision. Oh, well, it brought my um, strength up a lot, but that's nice. Okay, we'll probably get through the grassy biome, and then I'll end the video. So, Okay, so Onyx knows Flash Cannon, which, that's nice.
more wild Pokemon to beat up. Oh, yeah, don't you love it? Well, that way it was easier. Okay. Oh, Onyx is poisoned. Dang it. Okay, well, you know, that poison wore away fast, but... Ah, uh, parasects, um, goddamn. Paris and parasects. Oh, well, looks like we have to beat them up. Oh, and they locked fire spin on us. Nice. No, you put Charmander in his Pokeball. Oh, you suck. Oh, shoot. He fell asleep. Oh, get away for a second. Uh. Onyx's health should hold up. Okay, and Charmander's back to beat it up. So we should be good. Nice. Ah, oh, dang it, Charmander almost got to level 9. Bunch of attack stones. I need more health stones to give Onyx higher health. Okay, well, let's get Charmander's attack higher by, like, a lot. There we go. And then Pidgey's attack. Pidgey's is the highest it could be, so here we go. Hey, let me fix my mic. There we go. Oh, Zed 1,800 for strength. Nice. Even the bonus type doesn't get me high enough for the boss, but I'm still going to battle it, and maybe I'll win. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. The first wave is done. Nice. Oh. Okay, there we go. Wave three. Yee yee. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, re re. Oh, dang it. There we go. Let's see who the boss is for the, this entire level. Oh boy, Butterfree. Charmander's gonna still end up dying. I can already tell. Let's get another attack out of Charmander before he literally dies right now. Boom. He's dead, I told you. I told you he was gonna die.
they um Gust. Okay, Charmander's back. Oh, dang it. He's in the sky. I can't reach up there, bro. I mean, maybe Pidgey can. Damn, Charmander is getting whooped. Okay, the Butterfree versus Onyx. Final battle. I can't reach you up there. Come on the ground. Come on, come here. Come here, Butterfree, so I can kill you. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now Pidgey and Charmander are level 9. Okay. Oh, and we got more... You know, good health stone. We probably should put that on Charmander because he is almost dead. Well, that is a creepy polywhirl or polywag, but okay. This is the spring shower statue. The statue is carved in the shape of a polywag, a Pokemon that has the power to use rain dance. If I were blessed with bluntful rains, I would never run out of water. Nice. There are more areas to explore nearby. Perhaps we should head out on another expedition. Okay, back up my data, sure. Ooh, boy, an ID. That's backup ID. Okay, one second. I'm putting my backup ID in. Okay, back. I put my backup ID in. Okay, here, let's see what gifts we got. Oh, yeah, we got all of this stuff. Nice. Oh, and look at that. Um, my underachieve refreshed. Nice. I can continue filming. Yeet. Okay. Well, since Charmander, you literally die every battle, even though I have you at 101 for health. But. I'm gonna just. There. Maybe that'll help Charmander. I don't know. Which means Pidgey. I could give you that 101 health stone, but what does Onyx have right now? You know what? Onyx is still fine. We got 79 from Pidgey. Give him 101. Gonna boost Onyx. Is... There we go. Onyx's health is even higher. What's this? Do I want to use Scatter Stone? Or Scatter Shot Stone? I'm not going to. Okay, well, we're just going to go beat up in here. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, magic harp. You know. Oh, that wasn't hard. Although magic harp is pretty sick when he evolves into Gyarados, but Oh damn.
Okay, more slow pokes. Some Goldian. There we go. Okay, Krabby, come on. Let's go beat up the Krabby. Ooh. I wonder what the boss is. Oh, woo. Slow, bro. Okay. I honestly don't care what the boss is. Boom. Okay, now we just got slow, bro. Nice. There we go. And Charmander Pidgey are level 10 now. Ooh, a mighty stone. That's not that mighty, honestly. Does it even give me, like, any benefit? I'm just saying no. Okay, 3 dash 2. Let's go. <laughs> if you guys like the video, you know, make sure to like it because then I'll just know if I should make more of them. Cuz, you know, I like making Pokémon Quest videos, but I don't know if you guys like watching me play through it. So, just tell me in the comments if you like it or not. Also, as of now, I don't really have an upload schedule, so don't expect to, like, see videos every other day. It's kind of just when I can, and there's no real upload schedule. So, yeah. We're really going to beat up this Tentacruel. Although his HP is like crazy. No, he sent reinforcements. Yes, Charmander's back. Nice. Sweet. A sturdy stone. That will help. I think maybe it might help with Charmander's health. I don't know. I have to check. Okay, it won't help, but... It'll help with Onyxes. So...
There we go. And the cooking pot is done, so we'll see what Pokemon we get. Ooh, psychic type. Ooh, nice. We'll see what we get. Yo, slow. Oh my god, no. slow bro, right? No, wait. Slow poke, sorry, slow poke. Level 15 slow broke. What do you know? Tackle. Oh, only tackle. <sighs> okay. Well, slow poke, I was hoping you'd know more than only tackle, but. So, psychic type like that one. What if I just add a whole bunch of. This kind of stuff. Soft and precious, soft and small. We'll go. What's that make? Let's see. Ah, uh, another four. Woo. Nice. Do I want to switch to Slowbro on my team? I don't know. We only know Tackle. I won't. I keep saying Slowbro. I mean Slowpoke. I don't know. I just like Slowbro a lot better. I already chucked here, right? They're all set. Yep. Okay, 3-3, three three, let's go. I also like Poliwhirl. I mean, he, he's a pretty good Pokemon. Although, if I... My favorite Gen 1 Pokemon would probably be Mew. I mean, I know, like, he's never in, like, any of, like, the Pokemon anime or anything. But, yeah, he's probably my favorite. If not him, then Poliwhirl or Charizard. That's why I picked Charmander as my starter, everyone. Okay, Psyduck. Come here, Psyduck. Charmander's health is really low again. Well, Charmander, you're going to lose to Golduck. I'm sorry. But that's just how it's going to work. Oh. I don't know if you heard that, but sorry for the background noise. Come on, Golduck, die! You literally killed Pidgey and Charmander. Nice, finally, there we go. And I just realized my video's an hour long, woo. Okay. Mighty style, that might be good on... On what, though? Pidgey? 118. Your attack's only 229, Pidgey. Charmander's is at, like, you know. I 
I don't know. I like Charmander's attack being like wicked high. Well, Pidgey. Well. Okay. Well, that'll be good for now. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. I'm going to end it here. This is Yeet Tendo signing off. Bye, guys.